What's up guys, here Rodrigo Banzato and now I will teach you how to make your panoramic images. Here, here is the place that you take the photos. Let me show you what you need. Here we have a great package to protect say, your tools, your camera. When you're traveling, you may want to have some food. All right. Here is the tripod. Let's see what we have here. Here's the protection for the camera. Let me open this to show you. So here you can protect it from the rain. Let me take this off. Okay. I will release this. As you can see, here is our camera. It's a Nikon D3200. Right? It's the original lens. And, um, uh, and every time you take a photo, you may want to use this. Okay? Um, in this case, I'm filming, so I will not, I will leave this off. Okay. Let's see what we have here. I will release this. You click and let's leave here. Um, I would show you how um, I make my my photos before starting the the panoramic part. Here it is. Um, I can turn on and choose an auto format, as you can see. When I'm taking uh, my texture pictures, I I don't use it, this monitor. Okay, why? Because this consumes too much battery, so it and gives a, a, a slow, uh, a slow time. So let's see the difference. For example, I will take um, a photo. Here um, I have a flash open. I will put here and we'll select flash off. All right. Um, for simple texture pictures, uh, that's uh, all we need. Here we have uh, um, the angle, the lenses, okay? Don't use the 18. Why? Because if you look here, you have um, the uh, too much perspective view, right? So when you're taking your photos, of your textures, walls, floors, whatever, um, using between 24, 35, okay? And of course, if I'm, I'm in the other side of the street and I want to take uh, um, the, the image of an uh, entire wall, I'll use a 55 to zoom in, okay? Let me see, okay, look. All right, so you can rotate this. Here we have two options. The VR, I will leave this on because it uh, helps to correct some blur in image. And here is the focus, that is that part. I will leave in automatic. So when I, uh, for example, I will take a photo here of this carpet. I will leave my machine here, my, my camera here, and I, I, I click, a uh, small click here, so I have the focus, uh, this is the sound of the focus, and now I click entire. Did you see the time to, to take a picture? Now let's, let me turn off this monitor. And let's see the time now. Too much fast, okay? So all I need is to put my eyes, for example, I will take this photo. I will put my eyes here and take the photo. Okay? Let's see and the photos that, that we have. I will click the play. And here it is. So, if you're gonna take your tax refots, put your eyes here 
and click. If you not sure, click two, three times, and I'm sure this image will not have a, a blur. Okay, here um, it's for the carpet. I can zoom in here. All right, it's good. It's not bad. Can you see the resolution? Yes. All right. This is just an example, a simple example of how we can make our faults. Let's um, turn it off, the camera. You just rotate here. This is a great camera with uh, 24 megapixels. We have um, a maximum of 6K resolution image. Let's see what we have here. We have the tripod, let's open. And I really like this tripod. It's not uh, so simple and it's not so so complex. And as you can see here, Dolica. Here we have a head. This uh, makes the part of the same tripod, all right? It's a pro line and I can release this as I'm showing. I will release this tool. Okay. Of the three legs. Here a little bit. Why? Because if I put in the maximum, this tripod will be too high for for my higher, right? So I will leave this, a li the last one, a little short. I will open this, this, and again, a little of the last one, here too. Okay, let's see a sun position here for this tripod. I will look in the floor, I think I can use this square here, okay? Exactly, this is, will be the middle of my tripod. I will put here, let me correct the legs. I don't want them to, to small. Um, so let me see if I, I think I need to raise this a little bit. Okay. And, of course, I can go to the limit here, but in this way, I will have these legs too wide. I don't want them too wide, okay? I think here is fine. Let me see. Um, that's okay. Here, we have uh, something very interesting. If you want to, to, to get these really tight, you can put some weight here, okay? For example, an, an rock or even your package you can put here so this will be more fixed. But here we have a um, flat plane so we don't need to worry about that. Another thing uh, that we can adjust here is this guy. I can Put this more up and more down. Let me show you. And here I can fix. Okay, this is um, a good head, and I will use it in our exercise. Let's see how are the legs. Okay, I think something is not so good here. Let me fix. Okay, good. I think now it's fine. All right. So the middle is really here. And I will show you uh, some accessories that I have. Let's open this part. This is uh, a remote code. I will use this later. Let's see where are my camera. Let's take here some things. I have um, this. And this is just, um, you, if you have any object, it's good to, to travel with some object like this. 
Because let's suppose that you have a floor or an environment that no have contours. Of course, so here we have a lot of objects, so this will be very easy to make it and panoramic. In, in, in computer, this will be very simple. But in a big environment, I may want to use this in some places to track and stitch all the image very easy, all right? But um, I really don't use this very hard, sometimes, sometimes. This is a good tool you can use in your camera. I will let here, we can adapt it later. And I have some other accessories. This, is, this one is from an, our Panasaurus. I will show you what is this. Let's take our lenses. We have here and special lenses for panoramic. Um, oh, sorry, it's here. Here it is. Let's open and let's see what is this model. We have a Honeycon. Okay, as you can see, it's a fisheye lens. It's really cool. And um, be careful. I will, will, I will open this. Leave it here. Okay, let's, let me leave it here. And I will change the lenses. I will click this button and we will rotate this. Okay? Here it is, very carefully. And I will take this. We'll put this. The name is always in the up part. Okay? Here, here is the name. So I click here. And if you click, I know it's fixing. Okay. And here's the Ronicon. You don't need to worry about this. You can live in, in this area. What uh, we will see later is this option here that uh, we can rotate from 3.5 to 22. I will live in the 8. Okay. As you can, you can see here, that is in the 8. Look, okay. Um, all right, let's see the Panasaurus. I will open this. The, this is the, the part of the panoramic that we want to use. All right. We will see a lot of data. Um, you can mount this very easy. Let me have that little tool. Okay, it's here. And I will rotate this to show you. Here is a very simple, okay, very uh, separated parts that you can fix these parts with this tool, all right? And make sure that every part is very fixed, very rigid, all right? Here we have um, a an, an little box to connect this to the tripod. Let me show you. I would. It, it's just a connection here. Look, and I will put here. All right. Now uh, let's understand the position here. Is here or is here? This is a Panasaurus. You can use another Ninja, but I really like this. Okay. As you see, we have uh, all the numbers here: zero, ninety and 180 okay if you look in the back side you can see that the correct position is this because this white line if i put here i don't know if it's 90 degrees okay so the position the correct position is here and i will turn this to fix the great guy here the great tool we need to adjust in this in, in a in a tool like this is this guy is the position that we will put our camera we will see this later i will just fix this first in our in our tripod as you can see we have a here i will put this area here and we'll fix very well let me see let me shake a little bit to see if it's all fixed. Okay, how, what's the idea? These two legs are in the same line, all right? So the zero of this will be here 
in this front. Let me show you. You can see here where are the position. Where is the position? So I will put in zero. Let me put here. I will see with my eye because I'm filming and it's not so easy to to do a lot of things together. All right. So it's in zero. Here it's okay. It's in zero in this point. But I will fix this uh, this thing. I will release this head and I will put this here. Look, the zero to there. And I will see where is my bubble. I need to let it very centering. Okay. That's good. Very rigid, rigid. And that's it. And that's it. And it's done. Our configuration of our tripod. Of course, I, I, I do not this, uh, f uh, especially this configuration and all these details uh, all the time. I, when I'm taking uh, my photos, I travel, uh, I just uh, short the, these legs and walk with this in my hand. Okay, some people scared, oh, it's a weapon. No, no, it's not a weapon. And I would say to you that we can make it more or less 10 and 15 panoramic images per image per per day. So if you're gonna travel, make sure that you have some good time to to make this this kind of photos. Let's fix uh, our camera in that position, and I will show you how we we configure it, the position of the camera, all right? Let's go.